my channel. So in this video here, I am going to be doing another little cooking video for you guys. And that video that I'm going to be doing for you guys today is a quick and easy peach cobbler recipe. Um, my mom actually gave me this recipe. Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and jump on into this video. But before we get started, go down and click that little red subscribe button. And always turn on the little bell to be notified when I upload. And if this is the new first video of mine that you are seeing, hello, welcome to the channel. And I hope you enjoy these videos. So now let's go ahead and jump on into this video. Okay, so the first things that you will need is a measuring cup. You will need a whisk or you can use a mixer, your choice. You will need a mixing bowl. You also need some milk. You can use any kind of milk you want. I'm using whole milk. Sugar. And then I am also going to be using my nonstick cooking spray. Or you can use actual butter, like smearing on your pan. You can use canned peaches, or you can peel them yourself. Your choice. And you also need flour. I got my flour in this ice cream bucket. It's easier for me to keep up with. And then you will also need your baking dish. So now let's move on to assembling all this. Okay, so the first thing you actually want to do is start preheating your oven. So I'm going to put it to 350. Make sure there's nothing in there. Okay. Okay, so the first thing that we are actually going to start measuring is ants are driving me insane. But anyways, the first thing we are going to start measuring is we need one cup of milk. So I'm going to go ahead and measure that now. So as you guys can see here, I'm just going to pour one cup of milk right here. So, now we got the one cup of milk. Got the one cup of milk now. Now we are going to do one cup of sugar. So, I'm going to go ahead and do the one cup of sugar. Sorry, you guys can't see. So, just going to do one cup of sugar. Okay, so now we got our one cup of sugar. We're going to go ahead and pour that into our bowl. Now we're going to get one cup of flour. So, let's get all this sugar out, and then we'll be right back. We'll go ahead and get our one cup of flour. And now that we got our one cup of flour, we're going to pour that on in there. And then at the same time, we are going to put our one cup of milk in there. So, just going to pour that right on down in there and then, then we need to take it and mix this all together so i'm going to do that off camera and then i'll be right back now since you got it to this consistency right here you're going to take a spatula and go down on the edges just like this okay now once you got your batter looking like this now we are going to open our cans of peaches up and we are going to drain them from the juice and then we're going to just going to pour them in there so to drain my peaches i'm going to use this little strainer right here and then i'm going to open them up right here as you guys can see and then i'm going to drain them off camera and then i'll be right back Okay, now once you have your peaches drained, you are just going to plop them in your bowl, just like that. And then you are going to barely stir your peaches up into your mixture here. So as you guys can see, just like that. Okay. We are going to take our cooking spray and we are going to spray our pan, as you guys can see. Sorry for all the stuff flying up there. 
Okay. Now, once you got all that covered nice and even, you are just going to plop your mixture right down in to your bowl or your pan or baking dish or whatever you guys are using. Okay, so just like that. And then once you get it looking like this, make sure it just looks like this. As you guys can see. So make sure it looks something like that. And then now you are going to place it in your oven at 350 for 30 to 35 minutes or until it is golden brown on top and it is completely done in the middle so i will see you guys back in 30 to 35 minutes but it's for you guys it'll be a couple seconds okay so now i'm going to get it out of the oven and check on it so now here it is out of the oven as you guys can see it is absolutely done and that brown on the edges just like i like it so that is how you make peach cobbler so i am going to let this cool for a little bit and then i am going to cut a piece of it and then show you guys what it looks like on the inside okay so now i am going to show you guys how it looks when it is cut so this is what it looks like now after it has kind of cooled off a little bit so let's go for this corner piece right here let's go for this nice big juicy corner piece okay so here we go oh so there is what she's looking like so Let's try it. Tastes identical. Oh my god. Absolutely amazing. It tastes so, so, so good. So yeah. There you guys go. Hope you guys enjoyed. So yeah guys, that is my little take on Peach Cobbler. Um, I know this video wasn't too, too interesting or anything like that, but I hope you guys did get the idea of how to make this quick and easy Peach Cobbler. It is absolutely amazing, as you guys can see here. So, yeah, like I said, I hope you guys will enjoy. Give it a big thumbs up. Go down and click that little red subscribe button. Turn on the little bell to be notified when I upload. And I will see you guys in my next video. I love you guys so much, and I'll talk to you guys in my next one. I love you guys.